Today we are making peanut butter dog treats and I'm so excited to bring this video to you because my dog has been getting a little bit bored with the same old same old treats which we have a variety of treats but that same variety has been what we've been giving her for quite a while now and they are all natural raw so I really like the idea of natural treats I think that's the best way to go with our pets so we are definitely going to be using all natural ingredients in these treats as well really quick if you're not familiar with me if this is your first time to my channel thank you so much for being here my name is Jessica and I'm the furry family coach while you're here don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and join pet parent nation by hitting that subscribe button once you hit the subscribe button a bell will pop up click the bell select all notifications that way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video but let's go ahead and get right into this video because I'm really excited to be making these treats today I found this recipe on Pinterest and I did not write down where I found it so I'm not 100% sure but I do know that it is a Pinterest recipe a Pinterest inspired recipe so let's go ahead and let's get all of our ingredients in the bowl first and foremost set your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit I've already done that so the oven is preheating and now that we've done now that we've preheated the oven, we are going to be combining all of our ingredients, there's only four ingredients, in a bowl to mix together. So I've got almond flour, so we're going to use a cup and a half of almond flour. So let me get that in the bowl here. Then we're going to add a quarter cup of water. Then we're going to add one quarter cup of natural peanut butter, and this is really important. When you're buying your peanut butter, make sure to look at the ingredient label and check if it has xylitol if it does do not buy it that is highly toxic to our pets and we definitely do not want to be feeding them anything with xylitol in it and xylitol is just a a, a man-made sugar replacement so it's a it's a chemical sweetener is what it is and it is very toxic to our pets to our dogs so make sure when you are buying your peanut butter i mean just rule of thumb don't buy anything with xylitol in it to begin with because it can really disrupt your digestive system and your um your gut so it can really cause you some severe discomfort as well so just kind of a rule of thumb if it has xylitol in it let's not buy it so now that i've done that i want to go ahead and add my final ingredient which is half a tablespoon of cinnamon so another tip for natural peanut butter is that it does separate so it doesn't have those preservatives in it which we don't want right but that's that means that the oils are going to separate from the peanut butter a little bit so when you first open it you want to stir it all together and make sure you mix it all back together the tip is to put it in the refrigerator after you've done that so it won't separate again all right so now that we've got all four ingredients in the bowl i'm just going to mix them together as best i can and i figured a fork because we have the peanut butter in here i figured a fork would be the best way to do this so that's what i'm gonna go with might actually have to use your hands that might be even better but i'm gonna start out with a fork and see if we can get it all mixed together with just the fork Okay, so now that I have all the ingredients mixed together, what I'm gonna do is take two pieces of parchment paper. I'm gonna put a piece down on my countertop. And I'm gonna put my mixture on top of that. And then I'm going to take a second piece of parchment paper and put it over the top. And then I'm going to take a rolling pin and I'm going to roll it out about as flat as I can get it. The 
The idea here really is to just get a uniform thickness in the cookies that we're going to cut out. So here's the fun part. Once we've got it all rolled out, we're going to take a cookie cutter of choice and we're going to cut out cookies. So I went ahead and got my baking sheet and I'm just gonna reuse this piece of parchment paper that I used on top of our dough. And now I'm going to take my cookie cutter and again, you can use any cookie cutter you want and vary the size depending on the size of dog that you're making your cookies for. I have a small dog and uh, so I'm gonna be using a pretty small cookie cutter and we're just gonna start cutting out cookies and placing them on the parchment paper on the baking sheet. All right, so we've got our cookies cut out. They're on the parchment paper on a baking sheet. So now what we're gonna do is stick these in the oven at 325 degrees for 25 minutes. Then we are going to turn the heat off. So we're gonna turn the oven off and let the cookies stay in the oven for another 30 minutes. So really quick before I do that, I did just wanna remind you, this is in no way a balanced diet for your dog. These are just treats. They are not designed to replace your dog's meal. Also, if your dog has any allergies to anything that is in these cookies, please do not feed it to them. So now that we got that out of the way, then I'll be back with you to check on the cookies. All right, guys, we have finished the peanut butter dog treats. So we put them in the oven, 325 degrees for 25 minutes. Then once the 25 minutes was up, we turned the oven off and leave them in for another 30 minutes. I did that, then I pulled them out of the oven and I let them cool down so I can actually touch them now in the pan, as you can see. So uh, they store, keep it in an airtight container for about a week or so. Um, I would prefer, and I always keep my treats in the refrigerator. They don't have um, any egg or anything like that in them, but just to be safe, I would keep them in the refrigerator. You can probably freeze them for up to three months. I don't think I would freeze them any longer than that, but this isn't a ton of treats anyway. So depending on how many dogs you have, you could go through these pretty quickly. So here's the real test. Does Kim like them? What do you think, princess? Give it a try? Give it a try? Sniff at it. You like peanut butter? Like this. so much for watching this video and being here with me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you try out this recipe. Post in the comments below. Let me know if you like the recipe. Let me know if you try it, if your dogs like it. I'd love to hear from you. Also want to know if you like this kind of video. I love making these kind of videos for you guys, but I need to know that you want to keep seeing them. So give this video a thumbs up and comment below that you want more recipes and I can certainly bring them to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button once you do a bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way you become part of the Pet Parent Nation and YouTube notifies you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.